What's up guys, Tony here from LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com and I look like a, some sort of bird out there in the wilderness with this spike here. I don't know, my hair is just not working today. Anyway, um, please let me know if you hear me and if you see me. I'm not sure how good this internet is. Um, I'm in Japan right now. Um, so comment down below comment and let me know if you hear me and if you see me um, so I know that I'm not talking to air here so uh, anyway if you guys hear me let me know I see you bro gangster Lola I see you too gangster is that a hamster because my daughter has a couple of hamsters and she's loving them I can yup see you in UK perfect Awesome, awesome, guys. I'm glad to see you on here. I really am. Um, is the connection seem okay? I don't want to move. If, if this is good, I don't want to move too much because I don't want to lose you guys. But I might be able to move like this and show you. Mike with the Yukon from Michigan. What's up, Mike? Might be able to show you outside here a little bit. Um, but I'm in my Japan apartment at the moment. Bakersfield, California, which is best at your epoxy? Uh, depends, Rich. Will, what you're priming. Hello from Seattle. So quickly, everybody, just type in the chat where you're chatting in from. I'm over here in Japan at the moment. Just finished my full first job. Thanks, Tony. Michael, you got to send us some pictures, man. Send us some pictures. I want to see what you're working on. Classic car, Tony. Well, um, I would go with a, I would go with an epoxy. You could etch and then go epoxy on top of it, but I would just go with a straight uh, over metal epoxy. And then you can go, you can block that out and go with a 2K filler primer. Sydney, Australia, Nigeria. Oh my God. Oh my God. So let's show you outside if I can. Uh, this is the spot, Melbourne, South Bend, Indiana. Awesome. So they're doing some major construction next door here. Let me show you kind of what's up. So they're building, they're actually putting up a building right next door. And there's the reflection of the building I'm in. Cloudy day today in Japan. Gulfport, Mississippi. Good to see. Guys, did you see my latest video? Belize City. Oh my goodness. All the way down in Belize. That is amazing. Did you guys see my recent video with the, uh, the motorcycle tank? What did you think about that? What's going on in Japan? Well, I'm here hanging out, uh, visiting some family. And um, I'm also working from here as well. Um, I actually help people start internet businesses. So I'm doing a small conference out here as well. Um, what else am I doing? I'm actually flying to Hawaii tomorrow. So I'm going to Hawaii tomorrow for a week. So if you want, I can actually go live from Hawaii and show you what that looks like. Anybody want to see what Hawaii looks like? Going, uh, I'm going to my hometown, visiting my family as well. And then I'm flying back to Japan. I was actually in the Philippines about three, four weeks ago for about a week as well. I didn't go live there because I was just so busy with, you know, just doing business and traveling around, but I did take a lot of videos. Sounds like a pretty good life, man. Yeah, just, you know, working. Didn't think Edge and Epoxy would go together. It will. Uh, I'd actually, like I said, I would go Epoxy and then I would do a 2K filler primer on top of that. Um, you guys want to watch some Japanese TV here? What Japanese TV looks like. Anyway, um, what did you guys think of that motorcycle tank lamp? I actually have three more projects like that that I'm editing right now. So there's going to be a lot. And the other ones are cool because they are pretty much candy. They're going to be all candy. We did a candy lime gold, candy um, oriental blue and a candy purple called Burple. So we got those three projects coming up. And then uh, the CX-5 project where we custom molded a intake, uh, a scoop, hood scoop on, I've seen it done, just went, 
um, a hood scoop on the hood and we custom painted the hood, the roof and the trunk. Kind of changed it up. You guys probably saw a little bit of it a couple of months back when I was in Texas, but I didn't have time to create the video. So I'm actually working on them right now. I just had some coffee um, in my Philippines cup. <laughs> my wife, every time we travel, she wants to get one of these Starbucks cups, you know, that have, you know, at the location, whatever. Wherever Starbucks is, they have, they sell these stupid cups. So I'm actually on the computer. I'm working on all kinds of stuff right now as well. I remember you saying you do them for family and friends, but they are pretty cool. Yeah, they're super cool, man. They take, they take a while to build. And for me, like, I don't think it's worth, you know, auto body is not my main source of income. Like I have a few different internet businesses. So I, I create all the content and then, you know, for me, it's not worth making and selling these tanks. For some of you guys, it might be worth it. You know, um, I've seen them for sale for like, this one guy is selling like a steampunk temp tank for like 1500 bucks. So, but it's a very unique, small niche and you'd have to have somebody to pay you like high end money for it. You know, for me, it wouldn't be worth it. If I can't get a thousand dollars for that thing, it's not really not worth it. Cause it's literally like materials and just materials and product is probably like 300 bucks, maybe 250, and then time and labor to create one of those lamps. You know, it, it, there's a good 10 hours involved, at least in one project, in one tank, you know? So it's a lot of, uh, of work. So it's, it's how you value your time. So if you feel that, you know, you'll be happy selling them for 500 bucks a pop or 600, then you could try and do that. But, um, How's everybody doing? Let me just rest you on my computer here. Hey, Tony, it's 90 degrees. Is 90 degrees too hot to spray metal flake on small areas like a dashboard? Uh, well, if you use a super low, low um, reducer, you know, like a low temperature reducer, then you could be okay. But I would try to sp spray late at night or early in the morning when it's cool. So if 90 is like during the day, maybe you might get down to 80 during the night or early morning. I would try to squeeze in. Um, thank you, Rich Will. I would try to squeeze it in to paint it in the early morning or at night. You guys get what I'm saying? Guys, how come only four likes? What's the deal, man? Only four likes, really? Now, I know you guys love me. You just haven't had the, uh, you just haven't tapped that like button yet. What time is it in Jap Japan? It is 9.30 in the morning. So depending where you are um, in the States, it could be 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, 5.30 p.m. California Time. I'm guessing, I'm thinking that's the right times. What's up? What am I doing in Japan? Well, I'm doing some business. Like I said, I'm doing a, a make money online seminar here to an exclusive group, I'm visiting family, I'm coaching some Japanese entrepreneurs on how to build online businesses and uh, stuff like that. So resend out and use epoxy primer. Well, Mike, what's on it now? In the winter, I'm planning on repainting my 91 CRX. Have you done an older Hondas before? Or are they new tips, paint jobs? Uh, old or new, it's all the same thing, guys. You know, working on a classic or a new car, it's the same process. The only difference is if you're dealing with a lot of metal, you're going to want to put a, you know, epoxy primer on top of the metal before you do your 2K. So you could have your body work down to metal. You could do your body filler right over the the metal if you want or you could even epoxy it and then scuff that out 80 grit and then put your body filler on top of that because no matter what you're going to go back down to metal in those areas anyway when you're doing the body filler so it's it's kind of preference you know some body guys do it over bare metal the bondo which i do the body filler some guys like to coat it first and then sand it back off in those areas and then put body filler on it 
Um, sorry, Rich. S guys, the comments on the iPhone, well, I'm on mobile now. They come and go really quick, so the shorter the text that you put, the easier, the quicker, the easier I can read it. Like if it's too long, before I finish it, it'll disappear. You, you know what I'm saying? Do you like Mike Hawk? He makes streams like you, my dude. No, I don't know. I don't know Mike Hawk. Safe way to clean 1K primer. What does he talk about? Like auto body stuff as well? Um. So yeah, how many VIPs on? Any VIPs on right now? Give me a quick, let me know if any VIPs are on. Any learn auto body VIP members? Your polish video was good. Guys, wait till you see the next tank projects. Super cool. Like we really laid the candy on. This was a basic, this was a basic, uh, so Mike's a VIP. What's up, Mike? This was just a basic black tank, you know? Awesome, awesome. VIP Virginia, David VIP. Awesome, guys. You guys rock. How is the VIP course? Do you like it? There's a lot of content in there. And we just added this series in there. So if you look in, if you log in, um, you'll be able to see three um, about 20 minute videos on this tank project in depth. So we got three more tanks coming and then we got the other CX-5 coming. So we got a lot of new, like probably another two, four, six, 12 hours of content, VIP content coming in. How do I subscribe, Tony? Um, just go to learn auto body and paint. Like, are you talking about subscribing on YouTube? Just hit that bell. I'm waiting for the scoop lessons. They'll be there. They will be there soon. VIP is killer. Best money ever spent. Awesome, Ron. Glad you like it. There's a lot of content in there, man. And I'm putting more in before the end of this year. So I'm just cranking on creating all the content. Can you put body filler over body filler if it's too low? Yes, absolutely. You could, all, you could definitely coat filler over filler. I mean, that's how you build it up sometimes. You have to. You flow coat much. Yeah, I flow coat a lot of custom paint jobs. Of course. And, you know, when you flow coat, it's good to flow coat over around 800 grit sanded. It's a, it's a safe grit to flow coat over. So I would sand with around 800 grit and um, flow coat. So, um, yeah, let's take another two questions or so. And um, I'm going to head out. Can I use Shopline epoxy as a sealer? Well, it will be, it will seal like a sealer. Epoxy will seal like a sealer, but I don't know what you mean by can I use it as a sealer? I mean, you could use it as a, sorry, they're building a, a they're creating, a, constructing a building next door and it's super loud. You could use an epoxy, like I've had, a few friends in the auto body industry paint directly over epoxy. I really don't recommend it, but <clears throat> you could use it as a foundation to paint base coat right over it. Um, I would actually coat it with a 2K uh, sealer filler primer. So filler primer, if you add more reducer, becomes a sealer, okay? And that's the way to go. You want to go with uh, a 2K filler primer slash sealer before, you know, as your final foundation before you put your base coat and clear coat over or your enamel, whatever you're painting with, right? Uh, what grit should I use for wet sanding to erase orange peel appearance of a clear coat? So you could go, you could start with maybe, you know, it depends on how aggressive you want to get. You can start with, 800 grit it depends on how bad and how much clear you have on it you know but just be careful you don't cut through you're gonna have to cut it through so i would start with maybe a thousand grit then you might want to wash it down to 1500 grit get it down to 15 and then you want to get it down to like 2000 grit maybe even 2500 grit um, before you start buffing that's um what i would do and you block it out right block it out you could even use a da with a inner surface pad, which is like a foam pad. I have step-by-step -step videos of that as well 
uh, in VIP and also new videos coming in VIP through the other project that I just did. So there's going to be a lot of content. I would say at least another two, six, seven, nine, twelve, at least another 12 hours of VIP content coming um, without this two hour uh, VIP content. Uh, the tank project came out to two hours in depth. I take you through the nitty gritty every step. Um, in VIP. So the video I put out on YouTube was only like 13 minutes, but in reality, it was a two hour in depth VIP voiceover, take you through the ropes, tell you what to do, what not to do. What is the value shade in terms of primers? Well, you know, they have black primer, white primer, gray primer. You could tint some primers, and it's just to save you some time with your base coat, save you some material with base coat. So if you're painting a black car, then you want to use like a black primer, you know, but I've always had, how do you become VIP? So just go to learnautobodyandpaint.com and at the top nav, just click VIP auto body course. And there's a couple of different options there uh, to join VIP. Um, like I was saying, do I need adhesion promoter before body filler and base coat? You don't. The only time you need an adhesion promoter is if you're painting raw plastic. So bike parts, um, fender well trim around cars. You know, you want to wash it down with thinner, spray some adhesion promoter on it. Then you would put a 2K filler primer on top of it if you want to get rid of the texture and then you would block sand it smooth. So you can have, I actually have videos of that as well in VIP, it's all there. And I actually worked on a, a King Ford Ranch, a King Ranch right before I left Texas. And I have videos of that and how we basically um, did the whole front bumper on that thing uh, with like a, a textured black paint. Um, a lot of content on that. That was a pretty good build as well. So that's also coming in VIP. I, for I forgot about that one. The King Ford Ranch is coming in VIP as well. Um, and yeah, so um, on a different topic, how many of you guys are entrepreneurial minded in here? Anybody in here who, who ever thought of building an online business? You're welcome, Mike. Anybody in here interested in learning how to create a micro online business, a extra stream and a extra side hustle to make money online? Anybody interested? Because I'm actually going to be um, inviting people to a brand new training that I have. Do you get with VIP a DVD set? Yes, there is a DVD set if you want to upgrade. Uh, normally, it's $297 for a 15 DVD kit with four auto body manuals we have. But if you're a VIP, you get it for $197. Uh, so it's different. Hey, Mitchell, thank you so much. Give a quick like. Um, so I'm actually uh, coaching a group of people here in Japan. Um, we have some video sessions of that as well, but that's for a whole nother topic. But if any of you in here are interested in building a side hustle online business, um, sign up to learn auto body and paint .com on the regular newsletter. And I'm going to be inviting a select group of you guys to join me on a separate newsletter. That's all about income creation, wealth building, and living the online lifestyle. As you know, like for me, like I don't have to live in one specific area. You know, I travel around the world a lot. I mean, I've been in Japan since July 15th. So I've been here for a couple months now. Um, I've been to the Philippines. Um, I'm going to Hawaii next tomorrow, actually. And then I come back here, then I'm going back to the Philippines and I'm going to China in December as well. And I'm also hitting back to Texas in, in uh Probably, man, in mid-December, I'm going back to Texas. So my China trip, I'm going to have to kind of squeeze in earlier. It's going to be tight. <clears throat> but if any of you guys are interested in that, stay tuned. Keep watching my stuff. Subscribe to my um, my emails and stuff. And, uh, well, we did a lecture not too long ago in Dallas. I had a seminar. And in California, San Diego. So small groups of entrepreneurial people, you know, who want to learn how to build online businesses. Um, that's, you know, where my passion is besides working on cars and doing auto body. It's, it's you know, wealth creation 
and um, having the ability, you know, teaching people to have the ability to create online businesses where they can quit their job if they want to and totally have, totally live from literally your laptop and an internet connection. You know, e-commerce is huge right now. Um, I teach people how to do e-commerce, how to do digital membership programs, just like the stuff like my auto body program. You know, I teach people how to build things like that and um, it's very rewarding, you know. Anyway, guys, what's best polish head sponge or wool pad? Well, I like um, a product called Buff and Shine. But it really doesn't matter. They're pretty much all the same. But I use a lot of Buff and Shine products. Yeah, are you in the Philippines? I was in Eastwood. I was in Eastwood not long ago. In fact, maybe I, I can't show you pictures. We're on my phone right now. Have you ever made carbon fiber parts? I have not really messed with carbon fiber parts to be honest. What's up, Chicago? Well, if you teach that like auto body and paint, I'm willing. Yes, it's it's really cool. It's really, really cool. All right, guys. So I hope everyone's doing well, man. I know it's nighttime there. It's not that late. What time is it over by you guys? Where are you guys? You guys like more West Coast people or East Coast people? I know we got some people from all over the world as well, though. Anyway, I'm going to head out. I got to uh, wrap up a few things and get ready and pack and stuff like that for my trip tomorrow. 7.43, 130 UK, 45. Sweet. I got to shave. I don't know, man. You're asking me about window tint. I, I don't know. I really haven't been around a window tint in a while. 743 in Nebraska. East Coasters. Ice on wheels. Yep, I was in Eastwood uh, meeting up with my team. Have a good day, Tony. Thanks. Yep, you guys have a great day. Have a great night. Um, I'll be on. I'll be on soon. You guys want to see me live in Hawaii? Maybe I'll do a, a live in Hawaii. Hopefully my internet is good enough. We'll, we'll do like live from Hawaii at my home and also maybe at the beach. Uh, it depends on what kind of sealer you're using. If you're using a straight sealer, like a sealer sealer, you know, as you, you know, you spray it in the booth and then you spray your base coat on top of it, you don't have to sand it. But if you're using a primer sealer, like a 2K filler primer that also turns into a sealer if you add more reducer, that I would lightly sand, you know, get it smooth with 400 grit before you paint, okay? That's the way I like to do it because you're already, you're finished with your final blocking and it's flat and you know it's going to come out good. All right. All right, guys, have a good night. Hit the thumbs up if you didn't, and I will talk to you soon. Peace out, guys. Thank you, guys. Cheers.